What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy, your guy for DIY. I know that's kind of corny, but let's go with the jingle. Uh, hey, uh, so I've been gone for a couple weeks. I, I uh, have missed doing some videos for you guys. Um, I took off for a family vacation and uh, it was fun. And uh, But before I left, I made a, uh, a new, e well, a new batch, I should say, of um, e-juice, and it is pink lemonade. Uh, I, I made it before I left, and I put it into a warm water bath. That's the way I like to steep. I did that twice, once before I left and again when I came back, and it's cooled down to the right temperature. Um, here you go. Matter of fact, let me flip it back to the screen. Uh, Anyway, um, additionally, here, I'll put it down here because you guys can see it. Um, I hope that the camera lighting looks better. I've been redoing my studio, and pretty soon I'm going to be doing the walls for soundproofing. So I also promised I would do better with the uh, audio for you guys. So I went out and bought the boom mic uh, with the arm, and I've got a pop-up filter coming. So hopefully that vastly improves the sound. So I want to say thanks uh, for you guys for sticking in there with me. Um, I know some of the previous videos uh, had a little bit of audio issues, so hopefully all that's fixed. Uh, also, uh, for those of you guys that uh, don't know me, haven't seen my videos, uh, once in a while I may stutter. I've had a, uh, uh, a little tick when I talk. Get it? Tick, talk. Sometimes I... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I, I tend to repeat words or I'll stutter. I've had that since I was a kid. Um, so having said that, you like that the tick when I talk, tick tock, tick tock. Um, so hopefully you can see color and everything better with the new cameras and the mics better. Okay, so on the pink lemonade, um, let me flip over. I have the recipe up here for you. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna tell you the recipe right now. You can get a pen and paper or um, you can look down below in the comments and I will go ahead and put uh, a JPEG or I'll type it out. Uh, so the pink lemonade, um, I'll start with the base. The base for this recipe, oh and we're doing 30 ml, 30 ml is what we're trying to achieve here. So the base would be VG and PG. Now I will let you know that I built this recipe without any nicotine. So if you would like to have nicotine in there, uh, make sure that you leave room in your base to adjust for the amount of dilutant that you'll have for your nicotine or I should I should say how much you'll need to readjust your recipe to take away from your base and add a little bit of PG and that also varies depending on the concentration of the PG I'm sorry the nicotine um, alright so having established that we're doing a recipe that is trying to accomplish 30 ml and of that is 24.9 or just say 25 of that is base uh, so in my case I like to do 50 50 of PG VG um, but you can do that any which way you want the reason I do that is both I like to chuck clouds and I like to have good flavor uh, so right in the middle is good for me so 24.9 and then I just divide that in half I should say 25 and I just divide that in half how I want my my VG and PG so down into the flavoring um, I'm gonna smell it too oh, man. okay so the flavoring on this um, is lemon is the first and foremost uh, you always want to do your 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 uh, main concentration a little bit more I like to try to achieve 15% on my flavoring um, so that's where we're at with that and you can kind of do the math and on any recipe and that'll let you know and then also leaves a little room for wiggle room for some flavors that are a little more concentrated so you can back down or if you're doing more complicated recipes uh, you can back down to add the other supporting flavors so in this case we're going to go 2.1 ml on lemon the next uh, flavoring is going to be raspberry, and that's going to be at 1.2. Uh, then we're going to do sweet tangerine, and that's going to be at 1.5. Uh, 
And with the sweetener, uh, what I like to do is one drop for every 10 ml. So in this case, we're going to do 0.3 drops. So that's one, two, three, one for each 10 ml. All right, so what we're going to do is flip out of this page. Don't worry if you've missed the recipe. I, again, I'm going to put it down below, okay? Um, so I'm going to be using, I'm going to be doing two tanks. I've already kind of primed them so that the filters uh, would be good to go. So I'm just going to top them off real quick. All right, this one here is the Arctic tank. I love Arctic tanks for my standard uh, tanks below, let's say 80 to 100. I, I'm putting on there, I have the uh, 0.2 filter coil in there, so I rock it pretty hard. And this one here is a clone. This is one of my mine that is a clone. And you'll see right there that rubber stopper. You can pull it out and then top side or top fill it. I don't like that though because it wears out over time, so I, I tend to do it the, the old fashioned way. Since my filters are primed, we should minimize any, uh, any dry hits, so I'm just going to give one or two good suction action. All right, so the next one we're going to do, I could taste that already, is the HPRIV by Smock or Smoke, whatever. The, there we go. It's the 220 watt. Okay, and then I'm using the, re I, I rebuilt the, the tank to put the, the bigger uh, Pyrex in there so that I can have more uh, capacity. The littler one tend to just, uh, uh, just it, it would go out real quickly. So this here gives me a little more uh, time on that to uh, be between refills, I should say. And this one here is a topside fill, a genuine topside fill. But you got to be careful and look at right there. See that little slit right up in there? If you're not careful, it'll leak out when you close this here, the dripper. It will kind of you know, do a little shoot out of oil there. So let's get this one up there and let's also give a couple good mmm alright I'm going to seal this up here again this is the pink lemonade recipe that I made before I left and let's go ahead again this is the E-Leaf 100 watt uh, and, and the Arctic tank with a .2 uh, coil atomizer. Mmm, now you see what I'm talking about. That was just a baby one. Alright, let's move over to the H crib. Oh wow, that is really, it's got a slight tart to it. I'm not going to add any more sugar or anything. It's got that genuine tart that uh, Pink Lemonade has. And that, mmm, that's a pucker up moment right there. Oh, oh, so good. Alright, so my information is right there. Please stop on by my website. My what? My website. <laughs> my website has links to all my social media, including YouTube. Uh, you can also go to my website and subscribe. So anytime I put up a new recipe, I'm going to be putting up uh, a uh, a blog section in there where I'll start listing the recipes. But you can get the quick links to my all my social media, uh, and already my uh, Twitter is on there and email so if you guys want to contact me I'm not that hard to get a hold of um, so please stop on by there subscribe like uh, I appreciate it um, since I'm one of the more newer reviewers to come online and I don't mind uh, saying that by the way footnote you know if you see something that I've said or you have an adjustment or a recommendation by all means I am very open-minded and please please state Whatever it is you want to add, whether you have an addition to whatever I've done or 
uh, a variation of what I've done, whatever. Uh, by all means, please do stop and, and weigh in. I appreciate it. That's how we all learn. Uh, so again, subscribe, like, and uh, my goal here now that I'm back is I'm going to probably be doing two to three uh, videos a week. Uh, I've got a big selection of my DIY stuff that's just come in, so I'm probably going to be focusing a lot on recipes. Uh, so having said that, I, I hope that's something you want to do. Uh, also, I've got a few little tools to wrap up the coils uh, for um, my mutation tank. So having said all that, I'm out of here. <laughs>